Hi, my name is Kate, and you're very welcome here on my channel where I talk about perfumes and my fragrance associations. Today I would like to speak about the brand that is not very well known yet, but I see it more and more mentioned and reviewed on the media, so I think it's time. The time has come to talk about Fleur Rifle. And it's not a coincidence that uh, there is a Memo Paris fragrance here because actually Fleur Rifle was created by the same people who created Memo. Another interesting thing is that both of these fragrances are created by the same perfumer, Ayenor Massenet, and they both have a T note. So I decided to just mention this because I think it's fun to know more. So, Fleur Rifle. The fragrance we are discussing today is called One Umbrella for Two. The whole brand was inspired by Japanese culture. And I don't actually know what Fleur means, but I know what Umbrella for Two means. <laughs> so, every fragrance in this brand comes with a haiku. Uh, it's a short poetry that originates from Japan. And each fragrance has this kind of a theme to it. So I will read out the haiku for this fragrance. Our eyes raised to the sky, no rain, one umbrella for two. This fragrance is inspired by a traditional Japanese umbrella called Wagasa, yes, Wagasa, with a pattern of dragon. So I think it's also cool and I love dragons. <laughs> so, how does it smell? My first thought when I smelled it and I guess it's uh, because I live in the U.S. and I just have this association because of that is a blueberry pancake mix. You know when you add water in it and for some reason I just cannot get rid of that association. Even though there is a black currant mention and I think cedarwood oil and some kind of tea essence. I don't know that kind of tea. It's uh, called um, Genmai Cha or Jinmai Cha. I don't know this one, so I cannot tell you how it smells, but there's definitely a tea note, and I think it comes out a little bit later, and I can feel that this fragrance is definitely, the formula is definitely sitting on the wood, so it's very gourmand, don't get me wrong, it's a gourmand fragrance, just for sure, you can eat this, but I definitely feel some, maybe tartness, or Maybe tartan is actually coming from tea. There's definitely this wood base that I like because it gives it character. I think without it, it would be a little too gourmet, you know, too easy, too simple, just not as interesting. Try it like a couple times and forget about it. No, this one has depth, it has development, and I can see how it would develop differently on different types of skin. Yeah, but I can smell blueberry, not black currant. And I know black currant because when I was a kid I was eating just so much of black currant, red currant, all kinds of berries. Yeah, I don't know why, just blueberry. But it's nice. I don't fully understand. Yes, I mentioned about the high pool that they're looking at the sky. I feel like this is at home. Maybe they came back, maybe it's a couple that it was a rainy day, they went outside and decided not to go anywhere because it's too cold and gloomy and they came back home and decided to eat something. Maybe it's a kind of a blood current tart or blueberry tart, or maybe it's really pancakes in my case. In my case, it's pancakes. You can smell something slightly different. And that's what's fun about fragrances. Yeah, it develops, it just, uh, the tea note to, to my nose just getting a little stronger. So why I wanted to mention Memo. I can see some little similarities. This also has fruity notes and it also has a tea note plus it has a dragon here and I think that they both are made for colder weather so I just thought that it was interesting maybe the perfumer already had an idea about this or maybe it grew out of this or maybe it's an absolute coincidence but somehow there's a dragon here too and I think it's a beautiful bottle half the reason I got this fragrance actually blind bought it. I don't recommend blind buying, but I hope that you do it responsibly, not wasting a lot of money and effort. But it's just fun to see the similarities in the fragrances and the brands. I just wanted to mention it for kind of educational purposes, I guess. 
Yep. Okay, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you tried any other Florico fragrances, if you like them. Also, tell me what you think about One Umbrella for Two. I think it's very interesting, beautiful. I don't need the whole bottle of it because I feel like it's a very... It's a fragrance with a very strong character uh, and it's something that maybe I don't need a lot of. Please don't forget to subscribe, to comment, to share this video with friends. If you think that someone else will like it, please share, I'll be happy. Um, and yes, please come back and let's explore the world of the fragrances together. Bye-bye.